able to record yourself you need a microphone on you at all times this is what it is this is the microphone part two the revenge what's up everyone and welcome to sunday with ola 121 uh, welcome to sunday with ola 21 that's what i wanted to say <laughs> i hope you're having a great weekend all you beautiful people out there. Obviously, this past week we have uh, experienced a terrible tragedy. We're going to talk about that soon. But first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. You guys are incredible. I do have a piece of news from this past Friday uh, guitar that I want to show. I'm going to try and keep the mood up still, even though, you know, Eddie's passing and all that. It, it, it's still important to just carry on with our lives. So I'm going to try and uh, <laughs> sell a guitar. Some say that, you know, just me pushing myself on my guitars at all times, maybe that's a problem. You know, it's my show. I just do whatever I want. We're going to talk about Eddie, but first I want to show you this. This is the new GC1.6B. We have gloss black. Look at that beauty right there and golden hardware. Like a very, very classical type of look. <laughs> And this guitar is available now in October, so you can get it from solarguitars.com. How about that? Now, we're going to talk about the news. All right, so this past week, Eddie Van Halen passed away. Apparently, he's been battling throat cancer for the past year. I think he's had a bunch of health issues throughout the years as well, but this past Tuesday, he passed, which is obviously an incredible tragedy for... Uh, for all of us, Eddie was probably one of the more innovative guitar players in the past 30 or 40 years. What was he? He was the first guy who put like a, a humbucker in a Strat and, you know, he was really, he was really pushing it back then. And he made all the small, uh, you know, inventions like the uh, drop D tuner and stuff like that. And he was more than just a guitar player. He was basically, you know, he was one with his guitar. He just modded the shit out of that thing just to fit his style and, you know, his character. And with that, he has inspired so many incredible guitar players. And, you know, Dimebag, my uh, favorite guitar player, he was heavily influenced and considered Eddie a hero. He was definitely one of a kind. Even though he was a genius on guitar and, you know, guitar playing and technique and all that, he was also a genius regarding tone. I mean, the 5150, man, it's... It's a classic. It's a metal classic. I mean, during the 90s, when it came to tube amplifiers, what would you get for metal? It was either the dual rectifier or the 5150. That was it. He's just been way too important. I've never seen Eddie Van Halen play a live show or anything like that, uh, but I do have some sort of connection with Eddie. And uh, back a couple of years when I joined The Haunted, Jensen, the other guitar player, was an EVH artist, so he played the EVH amplifiers. And I remember when we recorded a video of us playing together, I remember that it had to be approved by Eddie Van Halen before we could post it. <laughs> I remember seeing that email from EVH and they were like, you know, okay, we're just gonna pass it through Eddie and see what he says. I'm like, Eddie? As in Eddie Van Halen? <laughs> so I know Eddie has seen one of my videos and me and Jensen playing a, a Haunted song. So that's cool at least. Eddie Van Halen, gone way too soon, only 65. <laughs> Rest in peace, okay? I'll be shredding some Van Halen today, at least. All right, I want to bring something up. Just a little side note, rega actually regarding 
the passing of Eddie Van Halen I want to bring something up that pisses me off and that is people calling other people out for not posting anything about his passing when I heard about Eddie's passing basically everyone on you know Facebook and Instagram posted pictures of Eddie you know paying their tributes it was it's truly remarkable it's really warming my heart to see everyone kind of come together and just you know show their appreciation for the legend that he was I personally decided not to post something you know for the past days because I wanted to make a tribute properly like in Sunday with Ola like I'm doing right now so I didn't actually post anything about this on my social media Facebook and Instagram uh, and that's where I usually post things when I don't post videos now what pisses me off is that several people has called me out on my posts or even on my videos I posted this past week hey Ola where's your post where's your tribute regarding Eddie you know don't you care about him a legend just died why are you not saying anything why are you being so disrespectful I received comments like this on my Instagram, on my Facebook and on a couple of my YouTube videos that I posted this past week now this is a big f***ing issue you're not even allowed to mourn or pay respect to someone in your own way anymore it has to be done for the social media to even f***ing matter and you know that just sucked all the energy out of me to be honest to the people out there who made these comments seriously f*** off let me do my own f***ing mourning, okay? I'm sorry for dragging this onto you guys but this seriously pissed me off we have a legend here who just f passed let's just pay our respects to the guy and let's not make this about you okay thank you I'm sorry for that little downer right there but I have a piece of news and that is that at the gates are returning to the studio in November now the good thing about that gates is I'm good friends with at the gates because some of the guys in the band is in the haunted as well they're going to record their album in uh, Stockholm in November and I'm actually gonna be there I'm gonna film it so that makes me really really excited I'm gonna be there and uh, vlog a little bit that's gonna be cool huh at the gates who's up there you won't escape that way welcome you beautiful people I'm just gonna let my hair out we're in my office okay nothing weird with that other than I'm holding my camera like this you know I'm gonna go into detail a little bit regarding my cameras now for the past years I've been using these you know the GH5 extremely happy with them but you know regarding color profiles I've always you know had them to standard that's like the noob solution for most people so I'm gonna go now you know I'm very very happy here's another one here's another one of mine look at this was dildo on I'm really happy with my GH5 cameras but I've always been shooting on standard it's the amateur way of shooting videos so I thought okay today I'm finally gonna try and shoot in V log and it's not a vlog you know it's V log it's basically the way the camera captures you know the visuals in an image uh, usually for something like this you can see here the lighting up there is probably going to be all you know saturated out and and uh, burning out because it's just so white some details in the shadows and all that gets bloated out and you can't really see them but if you shoot in vlog it's shooting an image with a lot less contrast so uh, when you film you know it's very very gray and then afterwards you put it on a loot to that which basically just it, it gives it a more cinematic feel so I'm gonna try it out today oh you need, oh you uh, 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 just threw the memory card on the floor that's okay that's what pros do so on this camera right here I'm shooting in vlog right now and as you can see it's very very grayed out man you know and my beard looks f awful right now is it time to shave I guess it is but as you can see like it's just very very grayed out so as I'm seeing it right now I'm very very gray it's just very very flat of an image happening right here and uh, I'm gonna apply a lot and maybe we'll see some movie magic how about that so I'm doing that right here Ooh, smack how was that oh now it's really really dark in here that was the wrong one let's try this look at this now this is my room right here it's very very pink was that good no okay let's try and go into this room right here 
Can I go into this room without... Oh, my ass. All right, so check this out. I wonder how this will fare. So the point with this is that you're just gonna see more detail in the shadows using this thing. The shot will just be way more cinematic, in a way. I mean, take a look at this. Take a look at my face. There's so much information in my face right now. So uh, yeah, I wonder how this will turn out. And maybe, if I'm brave enough, I will film the whole Sunday with Ola with this thing. This is just me trying this out. And you know, this is very, very nerd information. And, you know, I guess 99% of you guys, you won't really care. I'm gonna try and use this for Sunday with Ola. Let me know what you guys think, okay? This is standard right here. This is vlog right here. Oh. I have no idea how it's gonna look. <laughs> and this are the results. Is it looking good? I have no idea. What I noticed from when I edited a video this past week is that shooting in this vlog format and, you know, trying to color correct it, Makes my, uh, makes my lips look very red. Now, does it matter if I wear lipstick or not? Well, I guess not, but I'm not wearing lipstick, okay? So I'm gonna try and color correct in this way uh, for a couple of videos and we'll just see where I kinda end up. Hello, there's a camera over there. All right, my little penis friends, for every Sunday with Ola, you know, I have this riff challenge happening. The deal is you can download the drums to whatever I'm playing in the beginning of the video and you can put your own riffs to that. You make a video of that, upload it to YouTube, and maybe you get featured in the Sunday with Ola. That's pretty cool, huh? So this week, obviously, it was Van Halen. Uh, I didn't write a song, but the drums are still available in the description of this video. You can download it, make your own riffs, and maybe I'll get you featured in the next Sunday with Ola. How about that? We're gonna check out some contributions right now. This is Knotan. What's going on? Playing a solar in his bedroom with a beanie on. <laughs> you know, Knoden is a member of mine and I see right now that he has a <laughs> ring on his finger right there. Congratulations! <laughs> that means he's getting married, I guess. That's cool. Fire in my belly tonight. Out of the anus, yeah. Very sing-worthy chorus there. I like that. There you go. Knotan, everyone. All right, now we have six string attack. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, baby. What he has done here fits the drums better than what I did, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, man. That was six string attack. Holy shit. That was amazing. All right. Davish G. Alvarez. Oh, look. Nice, man. He brought out the uh, V, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, shit. Ooh, I like his uh, Zelda tattoo right there. Ah, shit. And he has an Eddie Van Halen tattoo as well. Pinstripe, right there on the arm. Cabs as well. Oh, shit, man. True hero. I mean, how can you not like this guy? Zelda and Eddie Van Halen. Nice! I like that chord. What was that? Fuck <coughs> yeah! Damn, he has a good uh, 3,000 subscribers. Holy shit, man, that was amazing. Look at all those legends, man. Heroes. That can be you in the next Sunday with Ola. Go support these guys. I'll put the links to these guys in the description of this video. Thank you.
It's another day in the beautiful town of Örebro. We're doing the uh, the second sesh of tattooing of my uh, potential sleeve that's happening. Last time it was on the you know front over side of the upper arm or hang on, is this upper arm or underarm? Underarm. Is this underarm? Who the fuck cares? Anyway, uh, last session was easy because it was on the inner side, but this time it's on the inner side of the upper arm or the forearm or whatever. Uh, I think it's gonna hurt a little bit more today. So one thing about getting tattooed is that you need to, you know, keep the sugar levels up so you don't faint or anything like that. So it's important to buy shit. So I have bananas, some drinks, and chocolate. Very important. Ciao. 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 Awesome. We're done. Yes. <laughs> no. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so right now you're kind of like binding them together? Yeah. Trying to <clears throat> find the shapes. So they melt together. So it doesn't look like a Pundar tattoo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the absolute worst places to tattoo is happening right now. And just small textures. Oh. Needles are not supposed to be here, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. All right, so it was hurting a little bit, but then Nevermore came on and it was fine. How does that work even? Alright, we're done for today. It's yeah. burning like hell. <laughs> and now it's gonna burn more. Yeah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh. Now I'm just gonna let it burn. So it removes all the redness so we can take a picture. But I'm super happy, man. Look at this. Okay, so it's the day after my tattoo session. This is what I did last time, right? And now I have this as well. And dude, I'm just so f stoked, <laughs> to be honest. This is turning out so f well. This session sucked ass because, you know, it was the inner part of the arm. It's uh, on the wrist as well. You know, you're not supposed to have, you know, needles on that wrist, man. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's disgusting. Just seeing how into detail Henry is, is, is just astounding. I mean, there's, it's so incredibly detailed. Absolutely cannot wait for him to do more. Ola taste. What's up everyone? Welcome to Ola Tasting Shit. We're still wearing the same clothes as in the last <laughs> two Ola Tasting Shit. But no worry. We shower. We eat stuff from all over the world. And today we're eating more from Metal Raven, my little member. And <laughs> my little YouTube member. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But anyway, he sent me a fair bit of Chinese crackers and uh, different uh, stuff. So we tried our crackers in the last week's episode and today we're gonna try some crisps and chips i guess last week it was tasting really good simple crackers just out of the box really nice. good right now we're gonna try some snacks i guess so this is what's happening right here this is lonely god <laughs> great name there's a little angel there's a little angel on there yeah. that's the lonely god okay oh okay okay I, i've seen this these are you know, regular screws. We have these. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. I think ours are a bit harder. Mm -hmm. these are I don't know if you can see this, but like screw, like screw face. What are you looking for? 
anything that's not Chinese. <laughs> All right, great. Now we're opening a bag of Chick Boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Chick Boy. Crunch. California Crunch, okay. Crunch up your life. Onion and garlic. This actually has text in uh, in different languages. Product of the Philippines. Okay. Oh wow. So this is not Chinese. This is from uh, Philippines. Oh. Oh, that's cute. oh, look at the. Oh, look at them. Small ball. Like uh, chick chickpeas. Tastes like chicken. Mm. I'm liking this chick boy stuff. It's just corn. That's flavored. I think this is good. There's another chick boy. This is pop mix, sweet corn flavor. So it's corn. What is that corn? Sweet corn. Oh, oh my god. Oh, sweet corn, yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That was not nice. You know when sweet is just so sweet, it's almost like sour. <laughs> oh my god. It tastes like a. Um, <laughs> Going to Disney World or... Uh, oh, you know when you you expect it to be salty and sour, but it's just sweet as hell. This was very, very sweet. Not a fan, chick boy. Oh, it's washed down with coffee now. Okay. okay. This is a product of Taiwan. Oh, sorry, I didn't give you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Back to the sushi store. That was BB... Oh. One escape. Oh, grilled corn sticks. There's a chili on this one, so this is probably going to be hot. Just like me. They're very Maybe red. Try first. Okay. Like. Mmm. Mmm. Very spicy or? Very spicy, but very good. Shit. Sorry. Mm. You try these. Uh, nice. These are amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing to open it to. Gorilla oh. corn sticks. Yeah, I love a gorilla. Huh. Garlic. Try that. I'm still just. These are Ooh. so spicy. There's a lot of flavor happening. I think like, they like flavor in China. What are they, they aiming for? Uh, it's a corn stick. A, stick. a corn stick? Yes, you know the small little corn stick. <laughs> the mini mice. Mini mice? Hmm? Big corn stick. Mini mice. <laughs> Which one do you like the most? I like this one, the absolute most. Holy shit, Those it was are good. Too spicy They're me. very spicy, but so good. God damn. Ooh. I would not recommend to anyone, not even to my enemy. They're way too sweet. No. I didn't know that existed even. This one though. Chick boy. Oh, really nice. California crunch. I'm gonna keep on eating. Okay. This. While you do that, thank you so much for watching. This is Ola Tasting Shit and uh, I'll see you next Sunday. No, you're just gonna see me after this cut right here. And that, my beautiful friends, was Sunday with Ola for today. Because... no. For this week, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for that little downer thing that I did there, but you know what? I think it's very important. Let's just <coughs> celebrate the absolute legend, Ed Van Halen, and for all that he has done. Regarding this guitar, by the way, obviously I'm gonna make a video uh, of this guitar. I'm gonna obviously use the 5150. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, guys, have a great Sunday. Mwah. Thanks for being awesome. Bye.